Hello COVID haircut fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. In our continuing saga today we're going to be talking about hexadecimal. Why? Well, remember what we talked about. Computer data is all about using the smallest amount of data to represent things. It doesn't get any more basic or efficient than binary, but when data gets bigger, we have nibbles. Now, even though a bit takes a very tiny amount of storage space, a string of bits represented on a screen does not. It starts to take more and more space. So, as you'll recall, a byte with its eight placeholders can show 16 possible positional variables. A nibble has eight possible positional values. Makes sense, because a nibble's half of a byte. We use pairs of nibbles for efficiency. It's no coincidence, then, that hexadecimal means 16. So let's use this hexadecimal to number all possible variables in a nibble, which is 16. Why? It's easier to look at, for one, but more importantly, it takes up less data space on a page. So let's look at this. Remember our math per nibble? You can see uh, everything listed here, but let's take the number 6. 0, 1, 1, 0. That's four nibbles to show uh, one digit on a screen. So the nibble here that we're showing has a 1 in the 2 to the 3 position and a 1 in the 2 to 1 position. So these are the only ones we're going to count. The total is 10. But remember what we said. It's all about using the least amount of characters to display a value. You. As a result, we don't want to use 10, so what else can we use? Well, since there's only 16 possible values, we could represent the digits 10 to 15 with the letters A to F. So actually, in the example, the answer isn't hex 10, but the letter A, which we know to be 10. Easy, right? Okay, so let's do a full byte of data. Uh, it, it, what we talked about before, a byte has 8 placeholders with 16 possible positional variables. So let's break down the one that we see on the screen. To convert this binary to hexadecimal, we're going to take the values above the placeholders that have a 1, and we're going to add them together. The left nibble shows a value of 6, and the right nibble shows a value of 9. If you were to see this in your hex editor as a representation of data, it would just say 69. But it's hex 69 and not decimal 69. So we show it as 0x69 rather than just 69. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. Confusing stuff. What do I mean by that? Because when we were talking about a byte, we said that the answer was decimal to the equation we had on the screen. Well, now we split them into nibbles and you say that's hex? Yes. Yes, indeed. That is what I'm saying. Well, then, how do we, how do, we do this math? Because when we use a byte layout, the conversion is to decimal. When we use a nibble layout, it's to hex. Why? Space. Space is the reason. Because hex 69 takes less space to represent than 105 decimal, even though they mean the same thing. It's two characters instead of three. So now let's talk about the math between hexadecimal, binary, digital, or decimal. How do we do that conversion? Well, that's a conversation for the next episode. So in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.